Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the functions of the EDI sample on screen assessment and how to use the different functions within the program. So, all we've done so far is we've just gone to the EDI site, we've launched the functional skills sample on screen assessment. If you're not sure how to do so, um, you can watch the, the first video on, on how to launch that. So, if we click begin, I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to show you any of the working out here, but I'm just going to show you the different functions that we can we can actually access within the test. So first of all, we've got some information up here for the question, and then the question just here, and all the marks that are available for that question. Here we have some more information for the question, which is in the form of an image. And if you think this image is a little bit small, the first thing you can do is you can hover over it and you see how the cursor changes from an arrow to a hand. We can click when it changes into a hand, we can click and it will actually enlarge that image for you just there. And all you have to do is simply click back on the image and that will close it down. So that's the first thing that you can actually do as part of the assessment. If we look down here, we've got a couple of different buttons. This one says keyboard shortcuts and accessibility. If we click on that, you can actually change the background colour. So let's say change it to uh, some sort of pale yellow colour just there. So we could do that. We could change the text colour, so if you prefer a blue on top of yellow background, we can click that and that will change the text colour. You can also change the text size as well, so let's say we want to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And you can see how that increases in size just there. <coughs> this is generally used to help learners with dyslexia um, as they usually prefer a, a pastel kind of background and maybe a different colour writing but it varies from person to person so dyslexia um, or, or not one has the opportunity to change the text colour, size and the background colour to help you reading it. So that's what we can do with that one. This one is the fire evacuation mode and as it's a sample you can click on it to see what actually happens. So if you were to click on the fire evacuation mode and start it, you'll see that you have a 30 minute timer that starts and it's got invigilator instructions on there noting down what to actually do in case of um, a fire alarm or something like that. So the fire evacuation mode is only really to be initiated if there's a fire alarm um, during the test. And within that time the assessment should be reassumed and, and so forth as per the invigilation process. So if we resume the assessment, resume the assessment, we've got um, get straight back to the home screen. So that's what that one's for. Should only be used in the case of um, a, a fire alarm and you will only get one opportunity to use that fire evacuation mode as well. So that's what that button does just there. If we come to the centre then, we have the arrows, and if we click to load next question, you can see that we can scroll through the questions that way, and we can also scroll backwards, and it's as simple as that. You can see which parts of the question were on just here, as they change as we scroll through. And then finally, we come to the working out area on this side of the screen. Now, this is where we can type in all our answers. So we can type in text into this box. And if we want to do any calculations, I would suggest that we launch a little calculator function just there. And if we click on that, you can see a calculator pop up. This can be moved around by simply clicking and dragging on the top edge of that calculator just there. And if you want to do any calculations, I suggest using the calculator, for example, 7 times 8, maybe part of the calculation, press equals, and then when this little calculation has been inputted into your calculator, if you click this little insert function just here, it will appear straight in your text box, which means you don't actually have to type out the calculations that you're doing. So that's how we can use the calculator. If you want to get rid of it at any point, you can just click the cross, and if you want to launch it again, you simply click there, and it will launch. 
And that is pretty much it. So when you get to the end of the test, let's say we've gone all the way through with the arrow, you can be faced with the summary. So you can see the summary of the questions that we've attempted. If you've attempted them, they will appear in blue. And if you haven't, they'll appear in yellow. So if you've missed any out by accident, this screen should tell you. And let's say we wanted to revisit this question, you can simply hover over it and click, and it will take you back to that question. If we click next again at this point, because we've gone all the way through the test, it will take you back to the summary. And at this point, we can click Finish. And you get the option to um, either finish or, or not. And, and at this point, this is where your assessment will be saved if you click Yes. If I just click No, there is one more button here that you can actually access which is the exit assessment, which shouldn't really ever need to be accessed um, because usually learners um, can go all the way through using the arrows. But if you do, click on exit the assessment. It will just be a shortcut to this screen anyway. So if we click finish, click yes, the results will be saved, ready for the invigilator to upload later.